Hello, my Supama. Thank you for joining. Good evening. So today is the twenty sixth episode of my the author collaborative that I have been doing with fellow authors since the past uh, eight months or so, and uh, I'm very excited for today's episode because I'm going to be talking to an author who. whom i have known personally from the past uh, couple of years and uh, this is the first book i have read of his and i absolutely loved it and we are actually going to discuss about how to go about writing contemporary stories with a twist and uh, uh, he has also read my book love triangle and his book which is uh, stoned and uh, both of these stories are uh, very contemporary they have pop culture references and uh, they talk about uh stories which are very relatable for today's youth good evening hi hi priya hi good evening superma so i'm just waiting for my guest to come uh, join me in this live and then i can add him as a guest and continue with the conversations in the meanwhile uh, if you have any questions for me please ask them in the comment section so we can go on with this before he joins us <clears throat> he might take a while to join so if you have any questions for me please ask me in the comment section anything related to my books anything related to writing anything related to blogging or anything related to social media marketing if you have any questions i'll be happy to answer them please feel free to ask in the comments <clears throat> we have navin we have poetry magic thank you all for joining very kind of you to be available on a friday night Hmm. Hi Sandeep, thank you for joining. We are just uh, waiting for Gautam to uh, join the session, and I can add him as a guest. In the meanwhile, I'm I'm asking people questions uh, if they have any questions related to books or writing or social media marketing or uh, blogging, anything related to writing, actually. <clears throat> So in today's uh, session Gautam and I are going to be talking about uh, writing contemporary stories with a twist uh, so contemporary stories as in uh, something which uh, today's youth and today's generation can feel connected to and uh, how do we go about writing such stories adding what kind of elements to be added in such a story so that people are able to uh, relate to it and like it and uh, yeah all all sort of things is blogging dead i don't think it's dead uh, uh it's more about what kind of blogging you are doing that's uh, that's a more important uh, aspect of it uh blogging on website or blogs is definitely on a downhill but i think micro blogging is something which is picking up very much uh, micro blogging as in writing on uh, platforms like uh, twitter and instagram that's that's definitely picking up and uh, yeah it's not dead definitely not thank you for asking this question uh if you have any other questions let's wait for a few more minutes uh, gautam is not here yet so you'll have to bear with me for a few more seconds or minutes probably <clears throat> hello untold secrets hello shweta thank you for joining okay gautam is here let's add him to the live Com comedy joke so thank you for joining hello, hey. hello, hello. hi 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 just a second yeah yeah <laughs> that is so i did a complete monologue for you i think people are pardon <laughs> Hello. I did a complete monologue before you were able to join us, and I think people are already. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, should I miss that? <laughs> I was. Am I audible right now? Right. Uh, Because before that, when we called. It was, yeah. So, uh, is our visibility and audibility okay, both of us? While we wait for their comments, Gautam, why don't we begin with the uh, yeah, Rajat? Uh, thank you. Uh, that's it. Thank you. 
Okay. Yes, God. Uh, tell us, tell us about yourself. What you and tell us. Um, I'm sorry, your voice is not very clear. Okay. Right now. Uh, is there an issue? Is it better now? Yeah, yeah, I could hear now. So you're saying something? Okay. Yes. Uh, so uh, before we start with the session, why don't you begin with introducing yourself? Tell us about yourself. <laughs> okay so hey guys hi Ali, i'm gautam and i am born and brought up in goa and i am a cyber security professional and i'm also a writer that's my hobby which got turned into well professional writing and i've authored two books one is uh, i'm so hacked that's first book from a, a trilogy that's gonna come out uh, published by lead start and uh, recently one of my uh, another novel uh, got released uh, that one is titled stoned the untold story of covid 20 um yeah so i'm pretty chilled out guy i guess i'm the laziest writer you'll ever find <laughs> <laughs> definitely not as dedicated as manali with <laughs> everything <laughs> and um, yeah i guess that should be fine for a quick intro right Yes, yes. More than enough. I think you have told us a lot about yourself. You've written two books. That's a big achievement. And you are also doing a full-time job. Thank you. Aside from writing, which is I don't know how people do that because <laughs> I couldn't manage that. So I had to do full-time writing. I admire people. <laughs> thank you, thank you. But yeah, I mean, I kind of like being in security domain. So uh, I enjoy my uh, like current role that is as a cyber security professional so yeah definitely no complaints there of course it gets tough balancing out both and huge respect to you know those who uh, dedicatedly focus on their hobbies and their passion so but in my defense or in my case i would say i kind of like doing both so i try to balance things out you know be it security or be it writing yeah and i'm i'm as a reader, I can say that you are managing both of them pretty well because I've read your work and <laughs> I've, I've seen uh, the kind of dedication you give to the book marketing as well. So that's that's something <laughs> to be learned from. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. But yeah, I've read your work and I would say you are more dedicated than me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so before we bore the audience by teasing each other so much, let's move on to the main part of the session. Where we are going to get yeah. writing. Sure. Learn about writing and go about writing. So, uh, I read your book, which you just. Manali, your voice is uh, not very clear. Can like, it's it's. Uh, okay. Yeah, now it's clear. Clear now. Uh yeah yeah. Can you please repeat what you're asking? Yes, uh, so I was saying that uh, you were just talking about your book and I have some yeah, questions. Yeah, it's clear. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Yes, uh, so I have yeah, read your book. Sorry, uh, sorry, go on. Yeah. I have read your book, uh, mm -hmm. Stone. <clears throat> and yeah. uh, it's a very interesting book and it has a lot of elements. Thank you. Which, you know, uh, people can relate to and uh, laugh about so uh, I have I'm a few glad. questions if you are uh, ready to answer them. Related not just to that book, but yeah. you know, mm -hmm. Sure, sure. Yes, so I just have my questions. Please don't go away, guys. I know you are bored looking at our faces. Okay, so my first question to you is, oh, yeah, uh, you, yeah. uh, is there a problem with the voice? No, no, it's pretty clear when you're, you know, close to the screen. I guess when you move out, I kind of have okay. that break. Let yeah. me try and maintain my stance like this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please. Thank you. <laughs> so my first question to you is, uh, you have now written two books, which are of completely different genres. Can you tell us how one can go about writing in different genres and experimenting with uh, different kinds of writing? 
Okay. Um, well, genre, yeah. The, the first book is, you know, you know, more like a techno psycho thriller, and second is, um, I don't know what you to call it. It's just basically as people are saying it's sci-fi, but you know, it's a sarcastic uh, thrill it has and satire genre. But uh, you know what? The premise is different, but the character, you know, it's like. A story told in first person perspective mm -hmm. so in terms of character I really didn't have to you know uh, you know both of my character belong to this category called as transgressional fiction you know mm -hmm. both are kind of you know hate society hatred they have and they want to you know break free at the end of the so both are you know like in the mold of those fight club and American psycho that uh, theme it had so definitely it was not a major shift in padding even though the genre is different but uh, yeah I mean although I have finished two more manuscripts which uh, hopefully should be out you know second book of uh, hacker series which is not you know in this particular tone of transgressional fiction it's it's not even a psycho thriller it's a thriller so in that there are three characters and of course you know you had to shift uh, you know, you had to switch from uh, that genre and eventually the character. So you need to have that, uh, you know, basically you need to feel about that character. Mm -hmm. Like what that person will be doing or what that person will be thinking. So it does get challenging, but um, eventually when you put yourself into uh, how you put that, that shoes of someone else. So like that you have to put in the shoes of your characters and eventually you know think about what they gonna think in this particular situation and every person is different so eventually every character is different so that's how you have to balance that out yeah okay that that's an interesting point of looking at it you know you put yourself in the shoes of the character to switch between different genres and various styles of writing Thank you. yeah that's helpful yeah so uh one other thing that I've noticed about you is that uh, you have mm -hmm. a great uh, following on social media. Not not just following, you have engagement on the posts, which is something, you know, I have been grappling with from a long time. So, uh, how, how do you okay. use uh, that for promoting your books? <laughs> okay, many, many people have asked me regarding this uh, engagement, but honestly, I don't really have any particular, you know, if you see, you know, there are many... Uh, people who go after reels, who go after you know particular trend that comes out on Instagram. But I, you know, like no offense to that, but I generally stick to my kind of you know what I like. Like I like writing letters, so I stick to that. And uh, I do share some pictures, which uh, of course you know if you keep sharing uh, quotes and writings and letters, um, I think Instagram kind of reduces your uh, engagement. So I do give a glimpse of my personal life as, you know, every, whatever it is, you know, any lame thing it could be. So there were a lot of pictures. I have to thank my friends and teammates, I guess, for that. But any random pictures were clicked in all last decade. So whatever I find to the situation, like for example, today it's tea day, international chai day. So I just scrolling, I found one picture when I'm, where I'm drinking tea. So I just, you know, write a tiny... A caption for it and I share it so I guess that's I mean there is no you know particular thing that I do about it so it's just you know like of course I kind of you know like uh, do like engaging with them as well you know because I don't you know consider everyone as my fans or you know uh, followers everybody is everyone is my friend I mean I try to interact although I'm not a you know very quick my replies are not really quick because I have a lot of things going on, but I definitely reply to each and every message that comes. So it's not just, you know, about fans and followings. It's about, uh, it's more like friends. I'm on that level with everyone. I do give follow back. A lot of people don't, you know, give uh, follow backs. I don't know. I, I don't understand why they don't do that, maintaining that ratio count. And a lot of people run after reels, you know, you should do reels for followers, say. You should not do that. I mean, you should do what you like. And eventually, I mean, I'm not saying I have a great, like, of course, there are many, you know, great, uh, like, famous Instagram ac accounts and, you know, like, there are better writers out there. I'm not saying I'm at that level. But since you asked, I'm just, 
you know telling you it's all i do what i like and i do interact a lot with people so i guess that really helps okay but one one and, aspect and, is and there about, uh, sorry 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 you were saying sorry sorry no ah uh, yeah regarding the book that you asked then yeah it definitely helps you know because eventually i don't know like uh, when when our first book was released my publisher told me you know like i had created a page titled i'm so hot and my publisher had told me gautam you know you'll be writing more books so please change it to your name and i was a very shy person i still am i can't market myself you know i don't know how to do that even this uh, that's why if you have noticed i don't come on instagram live and all since i knew you and i've seen your instagram <laughs> session i thought yeah why not let's catch up but i don't do that because I, i it's just not my thing but then that's what my publisher told uh, me at the start that of course this there are going to be many book so you can't create an account with you know i'm so hard and you're going to create we are so hard and all those titles it's just not feasible to you know maintain all that so rather create a profile with your name um and then you know use that to connect with people and people kind of buy authors these days and you know then of course the book so that's the advice she gave me and i guess it's true in a way because a lot of my uh i have how to put it like sales uh, definitely come from the social media connection mm-hmm. especially during this lockdown time for i am so hacked i guess most sales were offline i used to get so many messages you know like hey i walked into this store and i found this book and i used to get of course that also used to be on social media again because they used mm-hmm. to tag me which is on instagram or facebook but for stone especially uh you know you obviously know how the situation is right now with offline distribution and all the thing so online presence does help yeah mm-hmm. sorry uh, i guess that was a pretty long long answer it's very it's very simple and uh, <laughs> something i really picked up on was your point about making it personal uh, i used to do this with my biggest uh, account i i have had many many mm-hmm. <laughs> but one thing i need to can very much out for is that you need to put your own photograph out there just writing post it really not much of organic shared photograph of your life yeah yeah that that is really yeah i i i learned it the hard way <laughs> i am following it now <laughs> Yeah, it's always good to connect, you know, not just for the engagement. Like, do it with the purpose of connecting and not, you know, for the engagement. Whatever that you do, yeah. whatever content that is. Yeah. And another thing that you said is, people don't buy the books; people buy the author. So they need to know what is the face behind the uh, book that they are buying. So that that's also. Yeah, good. definitely. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> so, uh, tell me this. Uh, with no free, you can also. ब्लॉकोस्ट ओके सो दे वर राइट एज इन पुणे एंड देवर राइट एंड you know there were two sides mm, orange flag and blue flags i don't want to take any side and i didn't want to take any side that time as well so i kind of wrote a blog post mm-hmm. taking uh, the whole stoner's side okay without mm-hmm. taking any side so a stoner's journey through rights you know he starts imagining he starts hallucinating mm-hmm. and that blog post i just shared on facebook that time facebook had a good reach i would say right now nobody checks facebook for your yeah, posts and everything so anyway so that post got shared uh, quite a lot and it reached uh, half week means uh, facebook page you know that uh, publishers facebook page mm-hmm. and uh, they also kind of liked it and they say, asked me like will you write more such post on that same theme uh will like to publish it through our page i mean post it through our page share it through our page and i started writing more such pages you know like next week there was a marathon in pune and just randomly me and my uh, roommates were having discussion like 
यार ये क्या भागते हैं मैराथन नहीं होता है लाइक फोर्टी टू किलोमीटर इज अ मैराथन है ट्वेंटी वन किलोमीटर इज हाफ मैराथन समथिंग बट यू नो हाउ इट इज इन दिस सिटी इज लाइक पीपल जस्ट रन फॉर लाइक सिक्स किलोमीटर एंड देन दे पोज विद देयर मेडल हाफ द टाइम दे आर ईटिंग हाफ द टाइम दे आर जस्ट वॉकिंग सो वी आर जस्ट हैविंग रैंडम कन्वर्सेशन एंड नेक्स्ट डे आई टू सबमिट दैट पोस्ट टू हाफ वीक वीन सो आई सबमिटेड वन ऑन मैराथन यू नो हाउ अ स्टोनर इज रनिंग कल हो ना हो बैकग्राउंड सेटिंग यू नो अमन ने नयन रोहित they are running and amon has crashed on the ground and again that was shared quite a lot so i guess uh, similarly i ended up writing five six posts and uh, you know the first post that i wrote uh, let's rewind a little on that uh, stone riots okay so that uh, in that uh, the, during that time i was listening to a lot of uh, you know nucleus music i was very much smitten and i was listening you know 247 that music only so eventually that music kind of find it kind of found its way into that post okay so i try to relate whatever is happening with our protagonist with uh, songs of nuclear okay and uh, uh, so that thing happened and then this more post happened then chetan soni afik means uh, as you he came to pune and he asked me you know like why not we compile it and make it a novel so mm-hmm. that idea was conceived around 3 years back it's a different story that i took 3 years to you know write it <laughs> because i'm lazy obviously uh, <laughs> so now that i uh, approach them uh, they kind of showed interest in publishing it taking it uh, Uh, traditionally and they wanted to take it forward and i just thought you know like since uh, it started with nucleus music mm-hmm. and uh, i've read lot of his uh, you know interviews and have seen his uh, youtube uh, motivational video that is there on youtube like roots to roots journey how you know uh, how struggle he had to how much struggle he had to go through in the initial days and how humble person he is and everything i just thought why not we ask him you know like obviously since music uh, is there in those post i didn't want to delete those cultural references obviously uh, and when we approached he, he readily agreed and that was like a sweet surprise for us and he, his pr team i interacted with a lot of people you know meher rahul and they were also very supportive throughout the process they wanted to read the whole book so initially i approached for you know just uh, uh one line uh, comment that maybe we can get on the uh, cover page or something mm-hmm. but initially like forward happened and they wrote such a nice analysis of the whole uh, you know the concept i wanted to show so like one in to put it in one line how amidst all the mess everything ends on a you know just like that everything ends so current situation you know we are going through a lot but some day just like that everything will end we just have to take it as maybe a bad dream of course there are a lot of things happening and lot of people, but we can't change what has happened so we just have to take it forward and believe and have that optimism that one day everything will you know end and things will be better so in terms of marketing again you know like coming to that question i didn't really think about that you know having it will help or no and obviously people are liking it people are asking it people are you know speaking about it because mm. it's music and uh, forward the analysis is really but then in terms of marketing i really didn't do much uh, analysis or it or i don't know how whether it works or no but for me like if he had said no then i don't think i would have had a forward for book because mm. obviously it was you know not for ha- sake of having forward because since his music was there and since it started with him you know the whole blog post the first post i just thought why not we'll ask him you know to make him a part of this book and he readily agreed that's great and yeah big yeah. fan <laughs> yeah that must have been a fanboy moment very early yeah absolutely <laughs> i can yeah, totally that, understand that, that was I enough for me i'm not sh- <laughs> Yeah, I was I was very happy with that. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. oh, thank you for answering that. My next question is, uh, you have yeah. already mentioned that uh, the book uh, and the story has a lot of inclusion of pop culture in in it. You mm-hmm. know, there's Mokli, yeah, there's Thug mm-hmm. Life, and there's so much which the uh, you know youth of today can relate to. So how how mm-hmm. do how does one go about using these references in their story? Hmm hmm hmm. 
Yeah, actually, you know, that question did come up and I really, you know, give it a thought. Like, of course, it won't be a literature masterpiece or something, obviously, because this is a very unconventional style. I don't know if, uh, you know, the proper writer writers can say like, hey, this is like some Instagram post or something. But then I thought, why not? I mean, why not? People liked it. People enjoyed it. If you see those blog posts, they had... Um, you know, there, there were many comments, people enjoyed reading it. So I just thought, you know, because with the whole culture and with this, you know, this uh, uh, lockdown and everything, a lot of things have gone online and uh, this whole right. trend has started of this meme culture. So all this cultural right. references and everything, a lot of people, especially, you know, the target audience to whom my writing relates to, mostly Metro crowd, they will definitely understand this cultural references and it will give them, you know, more fun, more enjoyment while reading it, if they can relate to. So I thought, let it be unconventional, you know, what will happen. As long as people are enjoying it, as long as, uh, you know, readers are enjoying it, it should be fine. So I just went ahead with it. I didn't give much thought whether it falls into a proper conventional style of writing or no. It's just at the end of the day, we just want readers to be happy. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that should be the motive actually. That uh, are the yeah. readers enjoying or what you are writing? My last question. Totally. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Your book as a character, uh, whose views are very, you know, in play, play about. Uh, <laughs> so yeah. how? And that can, that can be taken in a negative way when you know uh, readers read that. Okay. And, think that that's our personal viewpoint. Some people think that. So how does mm -hmm. one go about creating the views of their characters from their characters? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is also true in a way, you know, because if uh, like many of my friends who know me know that I'm definitely, you know, not definitely or not as relatable to my characters, be it away from I'm so or Amar in this case. Um, like I said earlier, this the, the theme, even though the premise is different, the theme is pretty much kind of, you know, on that context where it's a transgressional fiction, where our character is kind of trying to break out of the whole society norms and uh, systems, you know, he has that hatred towards it. So every chapter has, uh, I guess in Stoned, uh, there are just 13 chapters, but every chapter has, has some sarcastic reference, sarcastic uh, humor and that's the thing about writing humor in the book especially you know in terms of TV or on screen you can do a lot of things you can you know the, the actors can play it out better but when you are writing humor in the book I guess derogatory humor is the way that's I mean I was having this conversation in some literature affairs just few months back and Dr. Jess Coley had also joined and he was also telling me the same thing you know like derogatory humor or sarcastic humor that's like a key trait for any uh, author right now because that kind of gives them a strong point mm -hmm. we ca we are not you know creating characters who can go on screen and do a lot of uh, you know it's not possible to show us use all those things so derogatory humor is the thing and i guess that's what i try to do if people are taking it in wrong way then i don't know i just want to tell tell them that it's just uh, uh, it's just fiction, it's just, uh, you know, definitely not my viewpoints, that's how the character is based, mm -hmm. and yeah, it's character's viewpoint, and if anyone is judging me based on that, then I don't know, that's problem with their judgment, I guess, you can't judge a writer based on the characters, definitely. That's such an important message to send out to everyone, I mean, whoever <laughs> is listening or is going to listen to this conversation in the future, please keep it in mind that whatever an artist is putting out, uh, those are not his or her personal viewpoints, that those are the viewpoints of the character and it's completely different from what that author or artist is in real life. <laughs> yeah. Hi Prabal. Okay. Hello. Yeah, hello. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I was saying hi to Prabal. Oh, hi. Hi Prabal. Yeah, we're getting a lot of oh. comments, yeah. <laughs> That's good, right? Good to have you. I hope we are giving out good uh, information, good guidelines to whoever is looking. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, uh, Gautam, uh, you have also read my book, and in case you have any questions yeah. for me, I'll, I'll, I'm ready to answer them. 
yes yes first of all i would like to you know thank you for writing this such a different book you know i think i think i have written in my review i usually don't go for romance genre because i don't know that's not my cup of tea i i don't have anything against it but that's not my kind of uh, you know reading but definitely your book was uh, really enjoyable and it was quite different and even though it was romance it was you know uh, it had a lot of punch and humor and that intrigue factor that uh, made me keep reading <laughs> so i i do have few questions i think i'll ask you right away yeah. so yeah first thing is uh, you have written story from three characters perspective so you asked me how to you know switch genre of two book now i'll ask you how to switch uh, characters in the same book <laughs> because that's more difficult i feel <laughs> but you have uh, you have you have done that really well you know one chapter from this character perspective and it's a totally different you know that character has his own uh, different persona same with the girl character same with the other character so how do you you know uh, not mix them up because as a writer i do know it's very difficult to you know not get carried away and mix their traits and everything so it's very difficult to maintain three characters in the same book so how did you do that so actually before i answer that question i need to tell yeah. whoever is looking in to you also because i have read a lot of yeah. books that's how that okay. you know i have the uh, perspective of understanding that you know every character's viewpoint is very important while reading and having yeah. said that because i have read many books i also know that mm-hmm. uh, as a reader i am very curious about why this character was not given important but why we didn't get to understand oh. this particular scenario from uh, that character's viewpoint uh, okay. for example i can give you an example of a very popular scene uh, harry potter take mm-hmm. for example we are only seeing the okay. scene from the uh, viewpoint of harry potter we don't get yeah, to see yeah. what the other characters are going through i would especially Absolutely, like to yeah. know the story from hermione's point of view how is she mm-hmm, uh, as a character what is she thinking about and i mean mm-hmm. harry can be frustrating as a friend i am sure that was not easy for hermione yeah I have... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah no that's true that's true yeah that's how the idea came to me that i need to uh, present it from mm-hmm, all mm-hmm. the three main characters all three mm mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, about switching between them i went uh, with uh, scene by scene and you know uh, there was a particular flow that i wanted and uh, that i wanted to highlight particular incidents in the book and that's how okay. uh, i switched from one character to the other thinking that this particular incident will be important for that particular character okay okay hmm that's a good way to go about it yeah, yeah. scene by scene yeah Yes. Need to be very um, systematic. <laughs> Something which I lack. <laughs> so I guess uh, my next question is like, how do you, uh, you know, uh, sorry, how do you plan the entire uh, book? I mean, do you plan the entire story before writing a novel, before starting a novel? I mean, or do you, you know, like have some snippets in your mind and then you kind of, you know, go with the flow and then. see how the story goes or do you have the entire thing already planned in your head well, no i i don't uh, have any i think plan uh, but uh, with this particular book i didn't have the ending in mind uh, i was very sure of the ending so okay. i knew what the characters okay. uh, would be you know going through till the time they come to that particular uh, conclusion in the book and having okay. said that there was a particular skeleton i had in mind but mm-hmm. i did not know that i would be including uh, particular incidents or uh, particular uh, festivals for example or particular college events in the book uh, before i began writing okay. once i started writing mm-hmm. the book i understood that this particular event will uh, lead to a particular conclusion and it will help you know, uh, towards the climax okay okay Mm-hmm. yeah that that's good actually you know ending is something which uh, yeah definitely if you have the end i mean i've heard many writers say that if you have the end clear i guess with the whole process you know it makes it a lot more easier and you can that's because uh, uh, whatever uh, you are putting inside the book uh, which leads to that particular yeah. ending you are able ending, to justify yeah. the uh, scenes and uh, narration yeah yeah that's that's great actually 
I hope I get some endings right because for me it's all mess. I don't know where my book is going to end, but it somehow ends. Yeah, it somehow ends. I guess that's all I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, coming to another thing that I noticed uh, about you is like you're very dedicated. You know, be it with blogs and be it with you know your the whole. reviews and everything with proper nice templates and you know even for this you prepared a questionnaire and everything <laughs> i absolutely have no uh, uh you know I, that's that's something that i really lack and i want to know like how you do it i mean it's not like i don't want to do it because obviously having a you know proper plan or proper you know strategy definitely helps but uh like how do you manage to do that with everything and dedicatedly oh. you know every uh. day and every Uh, I think one of your friends is commenting <laughs> you avoid all ne- unnecessary points with doesn't put the front line <laughs> that's a good one <laughs> if you have the ending in mind uh, you know you don't need to When you're bluffing or you are bluffing in the story, just uh, you come to know that the ending will justify not doing it. So, you have to remove it. True, true. That's there. <laughs> yeah. So, coming to your question about uh, maintaining, uh, you know, uh, consistency. Yeah. Yeah, And that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> so uh, with me actually i have uh, learned it over the years that uh, in order to improve and uh, improve every day you know in order to grow there is mm-hmm. it's very important to keep Definitely. doing the same thing every day so that's how okay. you know, the consistency thing came and uh, having that consistency i realized that if i am not putting a particular schedule to it i am not if i am not following a particular discipline or timing for it it just messes up my day and i end up doing unnecessary oh. stuff more than the necessary stuff <laughs> so that's mm. how uh, i plan everything in advance you i just define my thing. life in one sentence yeah <laughs> <laughs> sorry so, sorry <laughs> that's why i uh, you know uh, learn how to plan everything in advance uh, should you the post okay. have the template ready so i you know mm-hmm. there is this the text to be put in and uh, in time and this uh, scheduling the post when when it has to go up there are <laughs> lot of uh, you know applications out there with help with, with that so uh, i have a particular schedule wherein i write only a blog uh, there is another okay. schedule where i write only poetry there is another schedule okay. where i write only fiction so there's a proper uh, <laughs> scheduling of the day which helps me <laughs> okay stay consistent and you know uh, maintain it Okay that's that's good actually I hope I also learn from you in that aspect <laughs> because yeah discipline and consistency is very important something that no, I have to and I Okay okay cool thanks for answering that so one question i had which character from your book uh, mm-hmm. you enjoyed writing the most uh, maybe not just from this book but your other works as well like which was like most relatable to and okay I, maybe it's a two different thing but let's just mm-hmm. say most enjoyable character to while writing okay. so uh, i'm going to answer it in two parts I have a favorite okay. character, and, and then I have a character which I enjoyed writing. My yeah. favorite <laughs> character is. Uh-huh. Uh, mm-hmm. At many points in the book, while writing, also I felt like punching Aisha. Are you blind, girl? Can you see that? It <laughs> <laughs> was my favorite. Okay. And the character which uh-huh. I enjoyed writing was uh, Virin. such a fun loving mom that's the kind of mom you want mm-hmm. to have like, one who do and one who put your leg but that's the kind of character i love yeah. okay very sassy very moody he has like it is also fun at the same time okay 
Great, great. Thank you, thank you for answering that. And uh, okay, one last question. Uh, I like, what is your writing process? Like, do you have? I guess you already answered that, but uh, you know, pro proper schedule and everything you have. Okay, let's just say, like, what is that schedule? Is it like evening or morning person or night person? How how does that so, work? Uh, I will tell you how I went about writing this this particular book. Let's start breaking mm -hmm. it. Into uh, how I was managing, aside from my other uh, writing stuff, was that uh, in the morning I used to write a book uh, from about uh, 11 to lunch time. I used to write. Then after lunch, I used to write one chapter every day. Like before dinner, okay. after that, I used to write a book. Once the feedback came, I edited it. Oh, <laughs> that's quite a schedule. <laughs> yeah, it's always good to hear about you know writers and their schedules because I don't have any. But yeah, it's I guess that's it's it's good to have because it kind of brings more productivity and more discipline, which is something yeah. is important. Yeah, because uh, it's not a one size fits all. Everyone has a yeah, that is also there. Mm -hmm. But this helped me with this particular book. This schedule is what helped. Mm -hmm. Good to know that. Yeah. So, okay. what well So now we mm -hmm. are on to our very interesting segment of the section. Uh, this uh, I have the rapid fire on. And are you ready? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll try to be as <laughs> quick. <laughs> Let me just open my questions. Okay. So my first question to you is on a scale of one to ten, how good are you at keeping mm -hmm. secrets? Secrets? Uh, I guess I would say ten on ten. I can keep oh, secrets. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. Cool. Because I don't okay. think yeah. Don't people know. people trust me and I <laughs> sorry your voice is breaking again. Unless that secret comes out in the form of fiction in one of your stories. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I do keep uh, secrets, yeah. So Akhil is saying I am an 8. That's my friend. Oh. Hey, nobody, I, I don't think I have ever given out your secret. <laughs> I do know a lot of secrets about you, buddy. <laughs> Someone else has asked... Uh, Sakshi, Sakshi, hmm. I also have a question. What is the key to write literature which make you stick to it? Uh, write what you, you know, enjoy write, writing. Yeah, I guess, yeah, that's pretty much as simple as that, you know. If you definitely enjoy writing it, like for example, see, for my first book was uh, on hacking, you know, something that I also do professionally. So I kind of hmm. have a... I would say a bit of command and a bit of confidence about the technical terms that I was going to mm -hmm. use in the book, right? And I also kind of enjoy researching about it as well because it was kind of a research for my work also and book also. So, you know, dono ka ho gaye. So, I guess stay, write what you like about and you'll definitely enjoy it. Yes, and uh, also one part it, I want on. to answer is that. Okay, a okay, uh, secret come out in your books. <laughs> Okay, now I'm yeah, really that is there. <laughs> and in which book it came out? <laughs> I can't reveal that because I'm ten on ten. At least in real life, but I can't say the I can't say the same. Uh, you know, in my books because everything comes with a disclaimer. Nobody can fight right. me that <laughs> we have that thing. You know, everything is fiction. Okay, sorry. Go on. You were you were gonna answer. Yeah. Uh, yes, uh, Sakshi's question I was answering. Uh, say, I was going to say that uh, think of it, uh, whatever you are writing, think of it from the point of view of a reader also. If you were a reader, would you enjoy reading? That's that's mm. how you make uh, literature stick uh, to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, actually. Yeah. Just enjoy yes, the so process. My next, yeah. Yeah. my next question. Yeah, sorry, is, go on. Uh, Hmm. What's your least favorite virtue of yourself and uh, least favorite skill? 
most favorite watch and least favorite <laughs> now that's a secret which i have to say <laughs> i don't really have any particular thing i uh, don't analyze karta nahi main usually hum khud ko but uh, i guess yeah i can keep secrets maybe let's just say that uh, that's a good try to have and the other question i i'm lazy uh, that's not a good thing can we consider it as <laughs> So, being a sloth is your least favorite sin. Yeah, let's just say that. <laughs> okay, my next question is: If uh, someone meets yeah. you for the first time, what is the first thing yeah. you think they will notice about you? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Usually, I don't go for you know uh, like first sight or the impression and all that. I'm the kind of person who like to, you know, I wouldn't say judge a person, but uh, maybe you know check the wavelength of that person whether I'm compatible with that person or no, you know, in terms of anything, in terms of friendship, in terms of you know whatever like uh, hanging out with that person or no, but uh, I like it's 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 act. They will notice Sorry? your smile. You have a fan commenting here. He's saying she no. <laughs> okay, maybe, <laughs> but I I go for conversations actually. You know, like uh, be it any conversation. I wouldn't say sometimes small talk, sometimes you know deep thoughts. So maybe not. Maybe it doesn't fall into category of uh, first noticeable thing. It is definitely. But then, yeah, first impressions. I'm not a big fan of first impressions. It kind of depends. Yeah. Okay. My next question. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> awesome answer. You have a lot of fan following. What am I supposed to do? They are my friends. I must say. I my know everyone question. else. Uh, you wake up and find yourself uh, as one of the friends characters. Which character would it be, and what would you do first? <laughs> I guess this has been asked me before in some interview as well, and it's again, it's not a you know, that's not a like I can't say one particular character because you know, friends all everybody we draw Chandler Joey we all have you know traits of those characters, and I kind of I don't know whether I myself have it, but yeah, I feel I am like a Ross sometimes. Maybe I'm moody. I don't know how that is. <laughs> you know i can bore people with some philosophy too very rarely but i do that and sometimes i'm chandler i don't talk much but then i come with one or two uh, quirky lines and people laugh in the group and sometimes i'm choi always hungry for food <laughs> and yeah i guess cranky sometimes so again maybe maybe i can go with chandler yeah okay Okay, so my last question to you in this round is: uh, Yeah, uh, would you rather have your book adapted into a movie or a web series, and why? <laughs> I guess for I'm so hard, a uh, web series will be a good thing because it's not just one book; it's a you know a trilogy, hmm. and uh, web series kind of gives it a more you know. Uh, more episodes more screen time and especially uh, that concept is a bit tricky we need to explain a lot of ifs and buts around those situation mm-hmm. so in a movie maybe we'll have to rush things and it might confuse the audience so it's mm-hmm. always good if uh, i mean if, when we have it if we have it it mm-hmm. has to be a web series that's my my perspective actually mm-hmm. but again it depends on production house depends on all everything how everybody wants to and for stone also i think it will be a short little web series it will be fun <laughs> we'll try for that as well yeah let's hope that happens in this crossed <laughs> <laughs> okay what well, so yeah. now it's your turn to ask your uh, round of rapid fire questions Okay, okay. I think before that, let's answer Sakshi. What would you both say is your interesting writing quirk? Um, you would like to uh, you want to answer that first? Sorry, I didn't 
Okay. Uh, I need a time to think. That's why I asked you. <laughs> okay. So trying to be I'll polite. Say <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll say it. It's it's sarcasm actually because uh, and witty one-liners because I I like humor and I like quirky humor. Okay. Hmm. So it's a I guess that is what I try to do even in stoned. I don't think I'm so ha- has many instances of quirky humor, but stoned has that. So sarcastic humor and sarcasm is definitely my uh, quirk. Okay. Quirk. Uh, I I don't know whether you can call it a quirk or something, but I have this habit of uh, putting in a pictorial representation of whatever I write. Oh yeah, so, that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw that in your book, and that was those those very cute. At the end of each chapter, you the are the, were they your drawings? No, nice. I'm not that creative. <laughs> <laughs> okay but still you know those were very relatable to the chapters and the cute ending you know rather than just every free ending the chapter you can have that picture here that is nice that's, that's that's a thing i do with all my writing uh, all my book okay uh-huh. as a pictorial representation of what i'm trying to say to you, whatever it is. So that you can okay, call it okay. in writing <laughs> that's good Okay, I guess I will ask you a few rapid fire questions. Okay. So I don't know if this is a rapid fire or something, but okay, see there are three characters in your book, Aisha, V and Virin and like again, if we go on screen, uh whom which actors would you like to play them? All three. Uh so for Aisha, I I don't know uh there's no other image coming to my head. Besides the pickup of the boon, because of just the long legs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that has to be the pickup of the boon, and uh, mm. I, Rithik Roshan uh, would be because of the height. Okay. Okay. Then I think Rajkumar. Uh, Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. Um Okay, uh book you wish you had written any book. Is it too too ambitious to say Harry Potter? <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. This is just wish wala question. <laughs> yes. So oh, yeah, I Okay. She's she's so popular. Obviously, she's I mean, who wouldn't want that series to come from there? Absolutely, yeah. And the whole, you know, the story of how much struggle she had to go through, and you know, uh, the coffee shop writings and all that. That's like a, that's that itself is a f- in a fairy tale story in itself. <laughs> so yeah. that's great. Okay. Um, What food would you order if you have to order food right now? <laughs> so, Your favorite uh, food if you have to order right now? I I am out I of context know. question but yeah why not? <laughs> no that's completely all right and actually it's a good question to ask me right now because uh, I am not in India currently I am in NRI so I am thoroughly nice mm-hmm. Indian food Indian food eat food so <laughs> I think great to like order some chaat for चूल्हे पे मिलता है ना वैसा वाला या या इट डज हैपन यू नो लाइक ऑब्वियसली आई एम नॉट बीन आउट ऑफ लाइक आई एम इन इंडिया ओनली बट यू नो बीइंग अ गोवन बोर्न एंड ब्रॉडम इन गोवा व्हेन आई गो टू लाइक आई स्टेड इन पुणे फॉर लाइक 7 इयर्स एंड आई डेफिनेटली मिस गो इन फूड यू नो सी फूड एंड एवरीथिंग सो ऑब्वियसली या ओके विद्या वांट्स टू हैव पानी पूरी राइट नाउ Um, you, you, I, you, I, I hope my... you get it. <laughs> Sorry. In my mind. You can order, Vidya. Ah, <laughs> uh, I envy you, Vidya. At least you can order. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> you can't have right. उधर नहीं मिलता क्या? Ah, मिलता है पास में मिलता है यार एक घंटा try. Yeah, you'll have to search for. Oh. आपने कैसे बनाना पड़ेगा? उसके लिए पूरी नहीं मिलता है. Okay. 
cool okay uh, one question is uh, character or plot which you you know which you write first basically like oh, you uh, have a character then, first plot no uh, that depends on the kind of uh, writing that i'm doing if if it's a short story uh, the plot comes first but if it's like a novel or a longer form of writing uh, i think the character mm-hmm. comes first okay okay <laughs> that's 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 yeah that's true actually i haven't really thought about it but yeah i'll i'll think about it now what <laughs> <laughs> depending on what genre of my book is okay and last question i guess um, i'll keep it pretty simple your f- favorite book and don't say harry potter other than that <laughs> many actually uh Oh. Yeah, you have it's, to choose one word because this is a rapid fire round. You decided. Okay. You set the rules. Okay. Sorry, I can't hear. What are small things? Uh, I Arun Gati Roy. Okay, now I can hear. Okay, okay, yeah, I have heard a lot about that book. I haven't really got a chance to read it. You must. I highly recommend that. I can't stop. it must be for okay yeah i guess that's all about my rapid fire questions we still have a lot of viewers uh, who have stuck by us you know uh, despite us boring them to death almost so thank yeah. you for sticking by <laughs> yeah thanks to all those who joined and stayed throughout and also those who joined and uh left thanks for them also <laughs> so this <is> good too <laughs> see i'm not a huge fan of you know insta life so i can totally relate because i guess this is my only second insta life and one i that i did yeah in two years <laughs> wow. and the one that i did that was actually you know an offline event which was planned in pune but since the lockdown happened uh, that event got postponed and we had to do it on that so i guess this i'll say this is my first insta life Uh Sachi has another question for us. Uh, okay, okay. Uh she say asking uh, her, has writing and publishing a book changed the way you see yourself? What do you like to answer? Okay. That? Um just a second now. Okay. Okay, what is the question? Just the last question has writing and publishing a book changed the way you see yourself? Okay. I don't know actually I mean I just I'm the same person um I always used to write blogs and you know uh, even during my college uh, days I used to write blogs then I used to write snippets and for college magazine office magazine so that that writer thing was always there and even after college like people always used to say like Gautam you'll be a writer but of course I came to Pune I kind of remained occupied with uh, work and a lot of other things and then just it kind of remained and then this blog which i wrote a techno psycho thriller on uh you know hacking kind of uh, many people started writing it and i thought why not i'll make a book so i guess it's been a gradual process so it hasn't you know brought any overnight change or anything in me as a person i'm still the same i i'm still the same with my uh pune flatmates or at home and even my old friends of course i have gotten a lot uh, busy i would say because there are a lot of things sometimes you know there was there was this pressure of uh, writing the second book then there are marketing commitments then there are uh, instagram live things happening a lot of you know things to look forward to <laughs> that kind of keeps you occupied so people say i'm busy often but that's not always true I guess I've always been available just to call away or DM away and personally I don't think there has been any change I'm still the same uh, like how I, how I was before I you know became a writer and just one thing I would say is everybody is a writer everyone has you know their own thought process and ideas storytelling mm. you just have to maybe try and tell your stories to the world and publishing and then eventually your books take up that 
gradually happen. So we all are storytellers, man. No changes here and there. If you become a published writer or no, we are still storytellers, telling stories of our own life in some way or the other. Nicely put, Gautam. I I also agree with that. That things we all have unique experiences. We 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 all are writers. We all are storytellers because uh, <laughs> no two people can experience yeah. the same thing uh, at the same time. Yeah, true that. So thank you, Sakshi, for asking that question. I think Gautam has yeah, thanks, answered Sakshi. it very well on the behalf of both of us. It doesn't really change anything. And the person, uh, yeah. you you change anyway, uh, irrespective of whether you have a book under your name or not. And that's I think that's called growth, and uh, it shouldn't it shouldn't actually change. <laughs> <laughs> So one question to both. Thank uh, you, thank you, thank you, Mira. How many so copies sold of uh, each book? I'm not <laughs> answering that. <laughs> <laughs> well, the exact figures. I guess it's very difficult for us writers to get also because publishers have the, you know, the exact figures and the numbers. So I am so happy we have had uh, some good sales uh, before lockdown and after lockdown too. For Stone, I haven't received any, uh, uh, you know, any uh, what do you call that uh, sales chart yet. But um, yeah, I mean things have been tough because uh, Stone was released in April and that time only lockdown happened, yeah. and many people had to cancel their orders. And in fact, the distributor also had to delist uh, themselves because from Delhi the copies were not. You know, uh, their warehouse is in Delhi, so the copies got stuck. The copies got, uh, you know, stuck because of the lockdown. So unko bhi lockdown lagta hai. So I don't know. I mean, see, these are the things that uh, usually. I mean, of course, it does matter, but you should not bother about it. And as long as you know people are uh, reading it, of course, sales matter. But I don't know. Like maybe I'm just lazy to check on it. But thanks for reminding. I'll I'll just drop an email to the publisher tomorrow and see what's the live update now of both my books, and I'll tell you. I'll DM you. <laughs> yeah, uh, I will also answer in DM. I'm not answering on the live. Thank you for asking. <laughs> <laughs> well, I uh, can Sakshi take a has... good interview, I guess. Yeah. Yes, you can. Yeah, definitely, Sakshi. Sakshi. You have, uh, kept the session yeah. interesting with your questions, so thank you. <laughs> Next time, we'll include you. I'm not yeah. sure about me uh, whether I'll come back live again, but she keeps doing that, so definitely include Sakshi. I will definitely do that. And uh, Gautam, once again, thank you for joining me today. It was wonderful talking to you. I learned a lot of things about writing, uh, and I hope you had fun too. Yeah, it was it was good. It was fun. Thanks for having me, and uh, definitely yeah. enjoyed this chat with you. And thank you everyone who joined Sakshi, Akhil, and everyone actually I can't name with ya, Ashna. Everyone who joined and stayed yeah, throughout it was great. And, you know, uh, yeah. Kept the session active and engaging. Thank Sorry you. if I have missed anyone's name, but yeah, each and everyone who joined. Thank you. Thanks a lot. So uh, let's end this session for today. Uh, good night, Gautam, and thank you everyone yeah. for joining. Uh, the video will be available on my IGTV, and I will also be uploading it on my YouTube channel, so you can go back and have a look if you want to tolerate for another hour or so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Gautam. Bye. Good night. Thanks. Thanks for joining. Bye. Take care. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Good night.